This video is brought to you by Pro Star Tables. Hi, pool players. It's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. And we got a special broadcast for you in this video. I'm going to analyze the final rack of the Istanbul Cup last week. I should say mid-August in Istanbul. I'm playing the finals against Osman Sanlizoy. And it's come down to the wire. We battled all day to get to this point. It's 8-8. Osman was leading 8-5. So in my mind, I've done everything I could to put some heat on this young man. He was playing really good all tournament. I wasn't playing too bad myself. And look what happened. He broke dry. And I've got the first chance. There's a couple of things that are going on in this venue. It's very warm, very humid. So we've got a bouncy table. We've played four matches to this point. It's after midnight. We've been battling for over 12 hours all day long. So we're tired. And we have to withstand the pressure now. We both want to win this event. And it's going to wear down on your nerves sometimes. And I want to give you some insight of how you can handle that. Right out of the gate, I got a shot here on this one. But the funny thing is, the eight in is such a position. The cut of this middle pocket is in such a way that I'm afraid if I hit this eight on the inside, the one might actually hit the other point. The cut of this side pocket isn't that wide. So I have two options. I want to make it off the eight in the side or potentially I want to cut in the eight and let the cue ball follow down. But I'm afraid what the cue ball is going to do afterwards because the rail is so bouncy. So I make up my mind in the end that I'm going to go for the carom off the eight in the side pocket. And look what happens, guys. I'm trying to compose myself. And there's a lot of things that are going to happen in this rack. This is just the introduction. <laughs> I hit a horrible shot. And I give the first opportunity to Osman right out of the gate. I felt right there I gave the whole match away with that shot. I was afraid that I was going to clip that eight ball too thick and the one wouldn't drop. I hit a bad shot, I have to go back to my chair, hope for an opportunity. The only hope I have here is that the three doesn't really pass the six ball, or what is it, the uh, seven ball, we're playing with cyclo balls here. He doesn't have a full pocket, he under hits this ball slightly. We've gotten out of the introduction of this rack. And this is where it's really going to kick off. I'm going to tell you, I've played hundreds of races to nine in my career. I've played a lot of hill hill matches. I've won my share. I've lost my share, but I've never been involved in a rack like this. Osman tries to swing it out to put himself straight in. Doesn't work out for him. And he's got a really tricky situation because he has a half pocket for this three. And therefore that ball becomes even bigger if you're shooting into a blind pocket, sort of speak. He, he doesn't have a straight line to aim. Therefore the risk for him is too big. And he decides to play a really smart safety here. He puts the three nine right straight in for the win and I'm hooked behind this ball and I'm in deep deep trouble here I remember walking up to the table thinking how on earth am I gonna hit one of these two balls and then I saw just a smidget of an opening between this cue ball and the seven ball and the cue ball could just pass the six towards the upper right corner. 
I don't want to shoot it in the corner, of course, but I want to hit that rail. And I've practiced these shots before. This is a four rail kicking system. If you would take your cue from the left corner to the top right corner and take a parallel line to where the cue ball is, if you would extend that parallel line, the cue ball a lot of times travels with a stun shot, no spin. It travels towards that middle diamond where I'm aiming now. So in my mind right now, I'm thinking I'm going to make contact with the three or with the nine. I want to at least move one of these balls and best case scenario, I'm going to kick it underneath and give this nine some action. One, two, I hit it absolutely perfect. That's not luck. That's kind of what I was playing to come to that middle diamond from underneath. Of course, I have to get a little luck with the cue ball going exactly where it is, but the hit is no luck. And now Osman is stepping to the table in a world of pain because he just hooked me with a great shot. And now he's coming back to the table in deep trouble himself. Fortunately for him, this four ball in the lower half of the table next to the cue ball, that still doesn't have a pocket. So you kind of don't really want to make this three in, unless you can open up these balls. We will see how this unfolds. He kicks three rails, makes a beautiful hit. And I step to the table with a dilemma because I can pocket this three, but think with me here, pool players, what do I have? What can I do? Can I open up this four ball? No, I would have to hit it a hundred miles an hour, come two rails, can't do much productive. Do I have a good safe? It's not a great safe laying here. I could hit just before the side pocket and use the five, six. But then potentially Osman is going to kick it, hit it, and he's going to leave me kind of with the same situation where I would have to pocket the three and I can't open up this four. So right now I'm looking, can I pocket the three and then play kind of a stop shot safe on the four where I'm sending the four out of there and I'm sticking the cue ball behind the nine and six. But the dilemma is the four is so close to the rail that I'm afraid from every position that I get to, I'm going to have a double hit on the four and I can't get the four out of there and leave the cue ball there. They're going to double hit and that leaves me with an opening or an open shot, I would say, for Osman. So I'm in a dilemma. Now I'm looking at a potential bank shot on the three on the eight to play offense that way, send the cue ball around and hope that I get an angle on the three by the side pocket to go into those balls. But I'm afraid I might follow the three in after the eight because it's pretty close to the side pocket. So what do you do? Given this a lot of extra thought because it's a critical moment in the match, you could see there was a fly there buzzing around, trying to even see what the shot looks like. And I decide on going for this bank shot, taking a chance and see if I can get an angle after pocketing this combination bank and see now if I can get an angle on the three. That worked out really well, actually. This shot is still very tricky. I have to try and hit in between the four and nine or catch the nine quite full so it gets out of the way. There's a lot of risk involved. I can get hooked here pretty easily. If I hit it too low, I'm going to come towards that seven ball and I might get hooked on the four. So I'm not out of the woods yet. I really want to come in between those balls and give myself give myself the best possible chance of 
opening these balls for the win. Trying to compose myself. Sometimes after these long days, pool players, you will find your brain is not functioning as sharp anymore. Try to visualize the shot well. Stay composed. Don't lose your patience. I hit it fairly well. And at least I'm in control to play a very good safety now. I have two options. I can hit the right side of the four ball and draw off the rail back towards the seven nine. That would leave more distance between the four and the cue ball. However, what I'm afraid of at this late stage of the day where my brain is playing tricks on me <laughs> is that I bank the four ball off the side rail get in contact with the six there and potentially <laughs> carry the four into the side. Option number two is to play a little more conservative safe, just banking the four straight back to the left and without hitting the rail, sticking the cue ball in between that seven and nine. Worked out pretty well. When I looked at this angle, I didn't think Osman could go two rails to hit it. Osman's last two innings at the table now have been kick shots, multiple rails. So he's feeling that he has to come with a lot of magic here to get out of this trap. He's looking at a two rail kicking system. He's trying to go one, two, three rails from behind and then get some separation between these balls. The pressure is mounting. He's lining up the shot. Hits it ball first and therefore the shot opens up. Again, this is where it gets very interesting because I was hoping to get a slight angle to go forward two rails for the five in the side, but I have a smidget of an angle. And from experience, I know if I catch that ball slightly wrong, I'm gonna follow the cue ball into the corner pocket right after the four ball. But drawing the ball, is gonna bring me away from the five, so more towards the side pocket. There, I'm trying to see if I can draw into that position, but the angle is such that if I hit a little bit of the left side of the pocket, the cue ball will go even more to the right, and it's bringing me away from the five. So mentally this is challenging, because I have to make a commitment here the trap is for you pool players is to not commit to one of the two shots because you don't like it and therefore you come with a poor stroke you either end up missing the ball or you play even worse position i finally commit i'm saying i'm not gonna follow this ball i'm gonna draw back with the best stroke that i can put into it take my chance on the five i know the shot will not be easy and there you see that cue ball's traveling away from the ball mentally that's a challenge but give yourself a shot at least i have a shot now for the match this is a very tricky shot under the gun late at night i have to roll this ball the rail is bouncy so i have to hit it pretty soft to let the cue ball go two rails. I get down on the ball and look what happens. Right before I pull the trigger, the fly comes back into play, lands on my head, comes back again, breaks my entire concentration. I have to get back up, realign. And that was really challenging. 
because I felt I was down on the shot well. I felt pretty good. And now I have to start over. Stay down on this ball. That's the key when the pressure sets in, pool players. Stay down on the shot. One of the biggest mistakes we can make as players. I hit a really crisp shot there. Stay down nicely. Don't get up from the shots. And that put me in prime position for the last three remaining balls and a potential victory of this tournament. One of the craziest drags I've played on Hill Hill with a lot of kick shots, a lot of drama. And I was happy to squeeze by. And so can you.